All right. Good afternoon. I'm gonna. I gotta leave for work here shortly, so I thought I'd may uh, quickly go ahead and put the first coat on this thing as far as the the uh, polyacrylic uh, clear gloss. That's what's gonna go on. So because I wanna preserve the uh, silver. Pardon the mess. This uh, project room also has our lake lake gear in it. Anyway, I'm gonna get this started and uh, then get ready for work. So, uh, bring you back shortly. Okay, I've got the first coat of clear on, and uh, kind of hard to tell what it's going to do, and that's already looking really, really nice. I like that. It's going to act as a grain tamer or a sanding sealer. It's going to raise the grain up a little bit and then uh, I'll uh, sand it a little bit, smooth it back out and then uh, start the process of uh, putting multiple coats on that. I want to make sure it's got good protection for years of being in the kitchen and having food and stuff prepared on it and all the spill mishaps and things that you know is going to happen. Anyhow, we are beginning this journey, and then, uh, like I said, I still have to uh, take that uh, drawer handle apart, clean it real good, sand it, and then uh, paint it. And then uh, when this drawer front is ready, then I will attach the, uh, the uh, drawer pull, and then uh, start finishing out the rest of the uh, island. So anyway, well, i got to get ready for work, so I will probably bring you back tomorrow. See you then. Good morning, folks. Welcome back. I'm uh, I brought this back out here. Like the first coat is on, and uh, the grain has been raised up, so I'm going to have to uh, sand it down again. The uh, first coat sometimes acts as a sanding sealer and brings the grain up. Just got to do a little smooth sanding a little bit. So I got some 220. I'm going to do that with. And uh, I also I don't know if I have already videoed this or not. This is going to be the drawer handle and I think it's going to be up somewhere in that vicinity. I'm, it's, of course it's not. I don't have it lined up or anything like that. But That's going to be the drawer handle for this. I think it's going to look alright. Wife's happy with it. It's really all that matters. Now I thought about maybe doing putting a, a railing on this and taking it all the way across and then one back here and one on the other side and that would uh, allow her to hang towels and you know, grab a hold of it and move it and uh, either that or rig it up to where you got T's here and the corners here and kind of bring that where it's kind of a floating rail all the way around I'm uh, really not sure. And I sure don't want to fill it full of holes and then not like it. So, anyhow, what I'm going to do now is uh, get the sanding, get another coat on that, and then uh, I've got that stick of cedar right there. I'm going to cut for the trim that's going to go on either side, like so. And, uh, yeah, get that put together, and then I'm going to start sanding the uh, the island and get it ready to be uh, uh, clear coated so anyway here we go make sure I got a good yeah there we go that looks all right
All right, we're going to get this uh, second coat. I don't know how this is going to... I may be uh, back in here again to sand it. The light's not real good in here. There we go, that's a little better. Just kind of move my head a little bit to see what I'm doing. Find a wet line. And what I'm using, I think it's polycrylic or something like that. I'll look at the label here shortly but it dries crystal clear and that's what I used to use originally on some of my cedar stuff until I figured out that the spar varnish with the amber tinting to it really brings out more uh, yeah polycrylic from Minwax is what I'm using but the spar varnish with that amber effect that it's got uh, is really brings out the reds in that aromatic cedar so I switched to using that whenever I'm using the working with the uh, cedar now regular cedar well I use it too use it as far varnish on just about anything else but if I'm really wanting to Keep the natural look of the of the wood. I use that poly acrylic, and it's actually a water base. Clear coat, so it cleans up with the soap and water. All right, I'm gonna clean this brush up. And first, or that second coat's ready to go. So, and then we'll go back and work on that other, that main piece. Okay, I've got uh, two options that I can run with. I've got a. I've already cut a piece off this two before, and then I've got uh, the four by four that was left over from building the legs on this thing. But uh, I kind of pieced together a bunch of four by four uh, cutoffs to kind of give myself an idea, really, of what that would look like if I used it to trim out the bottom to, to cover up those screws. And then on the other side of this, here. Turn it around. I'm going to turn this around because the lighting, if I go to the other direction, the lighting is horrible. So just bear with me just a second. And there's using the uh, two before piece of cedar. Of course, it looks better because it's not in uh, sections, but 
I'm kind of leaning towards that, but I don't know. Six on one hand and half a dozen on the other. It's really going to come down to what the wife thinks about that. So, I guess with that being said, I can put this on hold for a moment until I hear back from her. That's the only bad thing about working on this while she's at work is that she's at work. And uh, so, I guess what I'll do next is uh, clean that... Uh, pipe handle up and then I've got this uh, this rust-oleum hammered effect uh, I think it's brown well yeah somewhere on the can will tell you what color it is save the lid in case I do anything else with this I need more paint but I'm gonna like I said clean that handle up and and then uh, get it painted and have it ready to go as soon as I get the final coats of uh, clear on the uh, drawer front. All right, I'm going to get some stuff done and I'll bring you back when I get some more progress made. So we'll see you shortly. All right, I know uh, which direction that we're going. My wife uh, saw the photos that I posted on my social media page. And uh, she opted for having the cedar 2 before instead of this 4x4. Four four. So that's what we're doing. So... <laughs> that's in there good, ain't it? There we go. And he knocked his little blocks down. Okay, I'm going to get back to work. All right, I've got that trim installed, so we're covering up the unsightly screws. So now we're, we're good. I'm glad she got a hold of me. Maybe I can get that done. And then uh, this will be, that's the back side of it, but it still has screws and stuff. And I thought about it, but I could always I can always take that back off of it, literally, but, yeah, and then glue, glue a piece of quarter inch like this, I can glue that instead. That's a possibility. That way it hides hides the screws all together. Thinking out loud. Anyhow, I'll run that by her and see what she thinks. She may like that better because I, I, you know, this thing being rolled around like it will be, I don't know if I like that. Of course, I could also pull each individual screw out and countersink them a little better. But there's a, or just wood putty, something. Because oh, I don't like that. Oh well, we'll get back to it later. Okay, what I've decided to do is pull that, uh, that piece of pine off of there and I'm going to use it as a pattern on this piece of birch. Gonna... Alright, my video got interrupted because I had some stuff on the, on the camera that I actually needed to delete from the lake trip. But what I'm going to do is take that piece of birch and I'm going to place this piece down as a pattern and uh, put a new back on it. That way there's no screw holes or any of that other business. That's the game plan, so I'm going to get that done real quick and uh, bring you back. Alright, I had to
to do a little modification here and I had to, I don't know if you can see this or not, I had to put this piece of uh, plywood along this top edge to give me something to glue to because it was pushing through. So now I've got uh, an area to glue to. I'm going to put some glue on the uh, edges of that board and uh, get this uh, glued up and get the clamps on it and uh, probably call it for a day. I gotta eat lunch and make my dinner for work. Try to get a little bit of a nap in before I go in because we're we're sanding an aircraft tonight. And uh, yeah, that's a big airplane. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, push the pause button on this video for today. Tomorrow, I will probably plug those holes there and do some sanding on the uh, on the uh, entire island and get it ready to uh, be clear coated. So, all right, you guys have a great day. Good morning, folks. Welcome back this morning. I've got the uh, final clear coat. I did that last night when I got in from work. So this little jewel is ready as far as putting the handle on. And I thought about uh, putting that handle through this gray section here. And reason being, it brings the handle up where she can get to it a little easier. And uh, being a little higher like that, she'll be able to, to uh, hang a hand towel from it or something like that if she chooses to. So anyhow, I'm going to step out to the garage and I'm going to remove the bracings and stuff that I had uh, on that uh, island. because I was gluing a, a new back to it to eliminate the uh, unsightly screws. So when she rolls that up against the kitchen window for storage, when people walk up on it, you won't be able to see those screws anymore. So, all right, bring you back in a few minutes. All right, here we go. I'm fixing to uh, remove all of them, all that bracing off of there, so I can see how that particular handiwork turned out. Let me set that down for a second and get this thing turned, and then. Uh, this out on the on the little Ford. There we go. All right, let's get this stuff off of there. back on the wood stack because you know a clean shop is a safe shop. Bring it a little closer. Roll it forward to get it out of the out of the sun there. Yeah, that's much better. Nice and clean. Now I'm ready to sand this thing. I don't want to sand too much off the cedar trimming and stuff but so I got that left to do and then the clear coat and then to uh, paint the uh, handle and put it on and I think we're gonna put together two more of these and probably about this size I'm 
more, I bet I'm repeating myself, it's probably, and then put, uh, give her a handle for each end to kind of help move it around a little bit. So I need two more of those. Oh, probably another can of that paint. And, uh, yeah, we're almost done. All right, I'm going to get some more work done this morning and I'll bring you back. All right, I got some more work done to it. I got the sanding done and then I rounded off rounded off the edges a little bit to kind of even them up with the uh, with the legs on this thing. And then of course, you know, like I said, it used a grinder so it's not, the lines aren't perfect, you know, but I don't care. It's rustic, it's farmhouse stuff. And then I went ahead and while I had it upside down, I attached the uh, shelves. I uh, measured them off and got them got them equal on the edges. A little bit wider gap in the middle than on the on the ends, on the edges. But the, I'm 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 not worried about that either. If I can just keep the camera where it's supposed to be. All right. So and I sanded. Uh, the legs and stuff with 80 grit on that uh, little frog sander I've got right there. It's kind of a handy little deal. It gets in the little corners and stuff. But I'm going to get that thing turned back right side up. And uh, I've got a few more minutes I can work on it before I have to start uh, winding down and get ready. Anyhow, that's where we're at now. I'll uh, bring you back and I'll get some more progress made. All right, I just finished shooting this uh, drawer pull with that uh, brown hammered effect paint. Just let it set up and dry. And I may or may not need to shoot it again. I don't, I don't think I will. I think it's pretty good. So that'll get dry. I can do a little more sanding on the uh, on the island body and uh, get some more done. It's Friday, a little after 10, and then I got, uh, I was going to work on it and actually just finish it tomorrow and Sunday, but I got Shanghai at work, so I've probably mentioned that before. I'm still grumbling about it, but when I get that paycheck, I'll be all better. Anyhow, I'll bring you back when I get some more stuff done on it. See you soon. Well, good Saturday morning, folks. I'm getting ready to have to go to work. And I had some yard work to do, so I really didn't get as much done on this as I would have liked. I wanted to actually start the clear coat process, but I did uh, finish sanding it this morning. And then uh, I've run the blue tape around the top edge so that when we do clear coat, we won't get any of that uh, spar varnish on the stainless top. It's just doing the little things, as Solomon once said, the little, the little foxes spoil the vines. Anyhow, this thing's ready. I'm going to grab some lunch, and I may go ahead and install the uh, handle to the drawer. I've got it, uh, I've got it finished, so uh, it's almost done. And then I've got another project I'm going to build for uh, 
a person I went to school with. She's got a, I think she does photography, and it's going to be a uh, boat dock section that we're going to build, and then she can put kids on it and take their picture and make it look like they're fishing or something. But anyway, I'm going to hit the pause button for today and uh, pick up tomorrow. See you shortly. Well, good morning, Sunday morning. I want to say, I think it's the 28th. Days are running together now because I'm having to work overtime. But uh, this is what I got done this morning. I've got the first coat of clear on the uh, kitchen island. That uh, middle deal, that's uh, part of the uh, drawer system, so it's not going to get anything on it. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll just, uh, to... Uh, save time I'll just take some photographs of uh, all four sides of it and it'll either come before or after this particular video segment it just depends on how it ends up in the in the uh, Filmora editor I don't like to spend a, a whole lot of time on that editing and I, I I guess it shows but you know I'm just trying to keep it uh, keep it simple and, and uh, Try not to go too long. I don't want to lose people's interest uh, as I am trying to build this channel. And uh, I do want to thank my sub subscribers that I do have. I got to 77 of them. Hey, we're getting there. One person at a time. One of these days I hope that I can have this channel built up, that I can do this full time. And I've got some orders. Uh, that was some good news. I got uh, Last night I got some orders for some uh, of those little bathroom fixtures that I had done in the past. I got... Uh, Somebody wanting two of those, and then again, I got that boat dock segment that I need to get uh, built as soon as I get this thing finished, and that's what we're pushing for now, but uh, I'm going to wait on this uh, first coat to, to dry, and then I'll have to sand it a little bit because it will raise the grain, but uh, that cedar and that uh, the um, Douglas fir that I used, the Douglas firs, those big uh, legs there, uh, blended well together when I put the uh, polyurethane on it. That spar varnish, but uh, anyhow, I'm gonna uh, hit the pause button and uh, get some photographs taken. And like I said, it'll either be before this video segment or after, but it will be there. So we'll see you in a bit. Well, good morning again. Happy Tuesday morning. I believe it's the 30th. I'm losing track of time since of uh, working overtime. But, uh, and excuse the mess on the baker's rack, but that's the very reason for the kitchen island season. But I've got, uh, I got to get the wheels locked, but the final coat is drying. I just, just set the drawer in there to get it moved. I've got the uh, holes plugged where the screws were at and uh, there will be one more little vi uh, video segment on this and that's uh, when we get uh, things moved around and get the kitchen straightened back up but and again I I wanted to and that's exactly and I'm probably gonna have to wait because my wife will kill me for if I uh, <clears throat> 
video these kitchen cabinets because the, the the area is that we have to work on with is, is so small like like the, for this example that's the smallest section and the, the, what we have left to work on one other piece that's about double that size on the other side of the sink and then uh, you see the width of that cabinet I'm not going to show you the countertop because we got you now that's what we got both sides of the stove and that was it and that's the uh, like I said excuse the mess we're fixing we're in the middle of of getting it straightened back out once we get everything loaded into the uh, into the kitchen island, we're going to have a going to be able to eliminate that monstrosity, and the baskets can go on the bottom. Anyway, I'll uh, have one more video update on this, and it'll show you the finished product as far as getting everything uh, put in it and stuff. I was talking to my wife about maybe putting a bottle opener on this. I've got uh, another one of those little uh, mooses that we can put like on one of the one of the legs there in front alongside the drawer um, haven't decided yet or it can be put on the side anyway um, I'll let you guys know it'll probably that'll be part of the, the uh, my cameras there it goes it's trying to focus on so much junk anyhow that'll be part of that last update so we'll see you here shortly Well, good morning. It's Thursday, May the 2nd, and this, I'm going to bring this video to a close. We're still in the process of doing some organizing, but I'll move this towel out of the way that we had hanging there. She had uh, these three baskets. They had the, the canvas liners in it, and uh, what you see in those baskets probably isn't going to stay. She's still got to go through those things. Um, with new furniture comes, of course organization and then uh, this is an example and I think I might have, sh have, have uh, already videoed this uh, but this is pretty much we've got one two three four countertop sections if you will and that's about as big as they get part of the uh, I'm gonna eventually fix these countertops but uh, yeah, this is pretty much what we have to work with. There's the where the coffee pot's at. That'll kind of give you an idea. And a, a one little bit bigger area. Uh, of course, we're in, like I said, we're in the process of uh, cleaning it up. But this is this is the reason that uh, uh, I built the this uh, roll around island was basically for the counter stop. You know, for the counter space, and I tell you what, I, I made my lunch on this yesterday for the first time, and it, God, it was nice. You know, you just kind of take for granted your counter space until you don't have any. But uh, she's got that organizer emptied out and got it in here. Um, there's a, I think she's wanting to get some drawer organizers. Uh, I've already looked in there, and things are looks like they've just been shoved in there, so. I won't do that to her, but uh, yeah, I've got uh, there's the my banana hanger that I made out of out of the that piece of sycamore right there that I've used. Uh, if you look at this uh, area right here, that nearly rubbed a hole in the roof of my uh, shop out there in the backyard. So I made a banana hook out of it, and of course there's my little. Uh, paper towel holder that I made with the the Hobby Lobby fish and the sycamore base but anyway that's gonna bring this video to a close uh, and I need to do that because I got some other projects I've got to get started for and I, I I finally have some customers so my little wood shop business is, is uh, starting to show signs of life um, and of course projects like this kind of help it out um, there aren't any plans I just I built this off the top of my head as I went along so and that's the majority uh, how the majority of my work goes I just build it on the cuff and and by the grace of God and uh, his handiwork everything turns out good 
So, with that being said, you guys have a, a, a great weekend. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it, um, and of course, uh, subscribe. You guys have a great weekend. See you on the next video.